Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, doing a little basement review for you guys today, but I really wanted to do this one because this is my favorite new piece of equipment or newer piece of equipment from the 2021 deer season. That is the Bog Death Grip. I absolutely love this thing. I wish I would have bought it when it first came out. So what I wanna do for you guys is first, I wanna go through some specs and features of this tripod. Then I wanna demo some different style weapons, crossbow, shotgun, rifle, um, and then after that, what I want to do is just kind of go through what I think sets this tripod apart from the rest. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, we're going to start with the Bog Death Grip all folded up as you see here. A couple things to highlight while it's folded up. One of the legs has this nice foam grip on it. So this not only provides you with better grip while transporting it, but it also helps keep your hand warm when you're transporting it or hunting in cold weather. It's got a really easy to use retaining strap, keeps the legs nice and tight while you're transporting it. Very easy to pop on and off. Each leg has two adjustment clamps, super easy to pop open and slide the legs out to adjust to your desired height. You can also adjust the clamps if you need to. So if one clamp feels like it's not clamping tight enough or one is a little too tight, just back this screw off or tighten it down a little bit to get the desired uh, clamping force that you want. Another thing that's really cool, and I apologize for the dirt on this, are the uh, pads on the bottom of the legs. So if you're on a, a hard surface, a smooth surface, you've got this nice big rubber pad that's going to give you a, a solid base for your tripod. But if you're on some soft ground, uneven ground, something like that, something that we would experience while we're out hunting, you can turn these down and expose a metal spike that is really going to bite into the ground and give you a good stable base. On the side of the unit, there's the bubble level, so you can ensure your final setup is level no matter the terrain that you're in. And then each leg can be individually set to a 20 degree angle, a 45 degree angle, or an 85 degree angle, depending on the shooting position that you're in. With each leg set at the 85 degree position, the bog death grip can go as low as seven inches to the ground, and that seven inches is measured from the ground to the bottom of the clamp. And in the 20 degree position, with the legs fully extended, the death grip can go as high as 59 inches. Again, that's measured from the ground to the bottom of the clamp. All right, so the clamp itself has this really nice rubber coating on all the surfaces that could come in contact with your weapon. So no matter where you grip your weapon from, you're gonna get a really nice sturdy grip with this. And it's also gonna make sure nothing on your weapon, again, no matter where you grip it from, is gonna get scratched or dinged or anything like that. This clamp right here, this is going to adjust how wide or how narrow your clamp is and clamp down on your weapon. So it can go as narrow as an inch and a quarter and it can go as wide as almost three inches. So this is gonna make sure no matter if you have the, the smallest, thinnest rifle stock all the way up to some of the big four end grips on crossbows, you're gonna be able to grip any weapon with this with confidence. This knob right here down below, this is going to allow you to either loosen or tighten your left to right movement. And then this knob right here, this is gonna allow you to either loosen or tighten your up and down movement. All right, everyone, now let's demo a few different types and styles of weapons, both firearms and crossbows, just so you can see how versatile the bog death grip is. Now, before we do, obviously, I'm in my basement. This is not going to be a shooting demonstration. This is just gonna be a demonstration as to what the bog death grip can accommodate. And it can accommodate all of these. And for safety purposes, as well as demonstration purposes, I want everyone to see any firearm that can have a magazine. The magazines have been removed. The actions are all open. The barrels are all clear and the safeties are all on, okay? So we are safe there from the firearm side of things and on the crossbow side of things. Both crossbows are decocked and there are no arrows anywhere present. So we are completely safe. All right, I'm gonna start with the Killer Instinct SWAT X1, the bullpup design crossbow. And the way I've got this set up right now is both my left and right, as well as my up and down is very loose. So you can see just how easy this moves. But if I take my hands off, it's either gonna fall backward or forward, but it can move very, very easily. Now, I think the best thing about this, um, this tripod is if I come over here, especially on the up down one, and I tighten this down, and get it nice and tight. Now, wherever I move this crossbow, 
it is gonna stay where I move it. So I can still move it pretty easily, but no matter what I'm, what like up down position I move it to, it is gonna stay right there. So you can have your weapon basically at the ready, ready for you, ready for the moment of truth, hands free. And then when you get on it, it is still not difficult to move it around and make adjustments to get the shot off. All right, next up is the bigger, longer, more traditional style crossbow in the PSE Invictus. This is one that has one of the fatter forend grips to it. And I went ahead and I moved that forend grip as far forward as I could on my Picatinny rail to kind of put this in a worst case scenario as far as balance goes. And again, with my up down uh, knob tightened down nice and tight, this is staying perfectly level or in the position that I left it in. And it is again, it is not difficult to move up or down or left or right, but if I take my hands off of it, it stays exactly where I want it to. All right, here's the more traditional style bolt action rifle mounted in the bog. Again, staying exactly where I want it to, hands free, but not difficult to move up or down or left or right if I want to. Similar to the bolt action rifle, this uh, Remington 1187 shotgun, again, no issues gripping the forend no issues keeping it level at the ready nice and tight but again can move it up down left right let go and it stays in place and last but not least the ar platform rifle just like the other weapons crossbow shotgun bolt action rifle no issues holding this exactly where i would want it hands free but still able to move it however i want let go it stays right where it needs to be. All right, now that we've touched on all the specs, all the features, all the different weapons that the Bog Death Grip can accommodate, I really wanna to touch on three other things that I think will help make your decision in that the Bog Death Grip really is the best tripod you can get. And it kind of comes with a backstory. So I left my 350 Legend, the AR style rifle up in here because for my birthday, my brother bought me the Bog Death Grip and I bought myself that AR um, or that 350 Legend upper for my AR. And the day that I took it to the range to sight it in was also the first time that I hunted with it. Having this set up, I was actually able to do a late season doe hunt on a farm um, where a lot of deer were using the field and I just could not get a shot at them from the woods or from even the edge of the woods. So I sat on a center pivot, just right up against a tire in the middle of the field and put a perfect, it was about 100 to 125 yard shot, which I know for most people is not a big deal. But for me, that's, that's honest to God, the farthest shot I've ever taken and harvested a deer with. <laughs> And it was my very first time out with this entire setup after coming back from the range. Absolutely smoked her. Um, it just gave me a lot of confidence. But what I also learned, I guess number one on the range side of things, sighting this in, the first thing that was awesome with the bog is you can basically treat it like a lead sled. So I was able to put this gun in there, fire a shot, um, feel really good, feel really confident about that shot, and then lock everything down nice and tight with my scope reticle right back on the bullseye, right back on my point of aim, and then simply just reach up and adjust my scope to where the bullet impacted. Second thing is with a new shooter, a new hunter, the bog death grip is really going to raise their confidence level and it's going to raise it fast just because it is so rock solid. It's so easy to use. It's so easy to be good with. And I will be the first to admit I am not the world's best shot with either a firearm or a crossbow, but this thing makes me so much more confident. So I can only imagine if I had something like this early in my hunting career, early in my shooting career, I certainly would be more confident. Um, and I would expect that any new person you're trying to introduce to the outdoors, this is really going to help them. And kind of along those same lines, the third thing is safety for those new hunters or new shooters. So you guys have probably taken people to the gun range, newer um, to hunting, newer to firearms, newer to crossbows, and they are, they're nervous, they're excited, they are in unfamiliar territory, and oftentimes, and it's, it's not to be, uh, to be dangerous, but they often wave a weapon in an unsafe manner. Um, they might be excited, maybe a gun jammed, or maybe something funky happened with a crossbow and they just don't know what to do, and they naturally want to turn around or just, just swing that weapon and point it in a manner that is unsafe. 
Well, when it is locked in the bog death grip, that is much harder to do, one. And two, it is it is very natural for a, a new shooter to, if something weird pops up, for them to just simply let go of the firearm, it is going to stay there. And then you, the experienced shooter, um, be it the firearm or a crossbow or whatever, can then assess the situation and and return the shooting scenario to a safe manner. I hope you can tell that I absolutely love the Bog Death Grip. And if you guys want to purchase one, I've got some links down below in the description. I promise you will love it because I absolutely love it. It is my favorite new piece of gear. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.